Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to show you five insane resources plus one extra that's even more advanced that's going to enhance your laser projects and let you make projects like this here with your own audio to turn it into a visual waveform, or this one here to create multi paneled engravings. You see one, two, three panels in there. And then you can add your own color to get really, really unique looking laser engraving uh, projects. And then so much more we're going to talk about as well. Those are just two of the examples of what some of these resources can do. So first up we have Waveformer. Um, you can go ahead and add your own audio file here. And then it will create a wave format here that you can engrave onto your projects like I just showed you. Um, for this, I'm going to click try a sample because I don't have um, another audio format that I want to use. Uh, I'm going to mute the audio while this plays just so you can see it play. I'll drop in some non-copyrighted music, but I think it plays uh, Never Gonna Give You Up. So I'll, here's some uh, non-copyrighted music and let you see the visual on this. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small There you go. As you guys can see, I only played a few seconds and it actually creates this more and more. The longer that you play it, the longer this audio file is going to get. So if you only need a few seconds like I did, you can hit pause, save it just like this, and then it, you can engrave this into your laser projects. So this is a super cool resource. I recommend saving this if you haven't saved it yet. Um, next up, we have QR code generators. Uh, a lot of people have been asking questions about QR codes, where you can create them. Um, this is a great website to do it from. Uh, you can type in whatever website you want people to go to. Uh, we'll just type in uh, freshstartcustoms.com, and then you can click Confirm and then that has created the code already. You can then choose your templates. Let's say we wanna go with a standard template. This is what it's gonna look like here. I recommend for laser engraving, just sticking with the standard one. It tends to work better than the QR codes that have an image in the center. But if you wanna play around with those, you can totally play around with them. But I highly recommend sticking with a standard one. Um, you can even change like the um, eyes or the style here so we can do like a diamond shape those should be fine uh, you can do rounded those should be fine as long as you don't mess with the center or ch choose too outlandish of a shape it should be totally fine for laser engraving once you chose everything all you got to do is download your QR code turn it into a vector and you're good to go you can slap that on any project you want to redirect people to the website um, and you're all set. Next up, we have this website. It's called Rasturbator. I know it's a weird sounding website, but it does, um, create these multi-paneled, um, posters here, which allow you to create laser engraving projects off of it. So if you click create your poster, you can upload your own image or upload from a website. We're going to go ahead and just use this, uh, example image of a cow here. As you can see, you can choose different um, standard uh, layouts here. I usually use just the default one. And you can put an output size of how many sheets you want this poster to be. So this is going to take this many sheets. You can also change it to inches versus uh, millimeters if you want to go off of inches so you know exactly how high it is. Um, but let's say we need two sheets here. And as you can see, it is now two sheets uh, total. So this is going to be one sheet that is 8.27 inches by 11.79 inches um, each. So you're going to print this sheet off. You're going to print this sheet off. And then you can go through uh, to the next step, which will be style, color, options. And then you'll have to export, which is that last step there. Um, you can also do this drop down and do a custom size. So we're just going to go with this and say it's two sheets here. Um, here is all the different options. Uh, if you want these options for some reason, uh, I think they are mainly made for like posters itself. That's what this website is made for. But we're going to go with no effect. 
and then we can always make our own custom uh, options within like Photoshop. You can go to color here. You can change any of these if you want to. We're going to just leave it. And then um, you can leave this as well, or you can choose what option you want as well here. And then uh, we can complete the poster. So that's how you'll end up in, uh, exporting this and then importing it into your own um, vector program to vectorize it or do any editing that you need. But that's how you can get two different sheets here. Next up, we have Template Maker. This basically will allow you to create any kind of like box cardboard templates that you want. There are hundreds of different options in here of all different shapes and sizes. Um, this is just a simple uh, resource that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, all the different options that you had is, is just seems like it's endless. The more that you scroll, the more you see, the more you can make with this. Um, next up is a simple box maker. So this will create uh, just a simple laser engraved box, like a square. You'll just type in your width, height, dimension, your, your depth, um, and thickness. And then you'll just download it as a PDF. You can upload it to your laser and create a simple box. Now the sixth resource is going to be an advanced version of this. It's called boxes.py. You can make literally all of these box options here. Um, this one's a little bit harder to use. There's a lot more advanced uh, settings you have to get used to and mess around with. All I can say is I encourage you to keep tinkering with it and learning whichever one you're wanting to make um, and trying different settings. You're going to probably use up a lot of material because this is pretty advanced with the setting options. Um, but I wanted to share this with you guys as well. If you wanted to dive even deeper into making different box styles and different types of laser engraving uh, projects here with this resource, but there's all sorts of things that you can make off of this. It looks like they've added much more than just the box styles that it used to be. Um, but other than that, those are my top resources for laser design enhancements or projects. If you guys have any other resources that you want shared in the next video, drop them down in the comments below. Um, if you don't own a laser engraver yet and you're interested in one, I'll have some information on where to get some of the best ones down below as well. Other than that, we'll catch you guys in the next one.